Hi everyone! For today's Therapy Thursday video, I will be talking about Neurologic Music Therapy, also known as NMT. And this is a further training that music therapists can pursue after school. I believe the University of Toronto offers this type of training. It was first um, created by Michael Tout, and the whole premise of NMT is to um, help clients with goals such as rehabilitation, development, and adaptation. So it uses music for sensory motor, speech and language, and cognitive training. So under those three, there are a number of techniques that a neurologic music therapist would utilize. And today I will talk about just one technique under each of those three. So the first one, now, now, if this may bore you because it's quite um, academic per se, so feel free to just drop out of the video. Okay, so the first one is sensory motor training. And the one technique I wanna talk about is rhythmic auditory stimulation, so RAS. So it's in the name, rhythmic auditory stimulation. The client gets um, stimulated auditorily by the rhythm. So this is for gait training to help patients get back on their feet and walk, usually with a metronome. So just tick, tick, and it helps them to walk left, right, left, right. I'm sure it goes way more in depth, but I'm just providing a very basic generic explanation. The next one for speech and language training, the one technique I'm going to talk about is MIT, Melodic Intonation Therapy. This one's pretty cool. So it uses um, a melody. So let's say it's for patients who have um, aphasia. So they have trouble uh, putting their thoughts into words and speaking those words and phrases in time, in, in the right order and all that. So the therapist will figure out a couple phrases that the client wants to say to in their daily life. Like, I love you, or my name is Jane Doe. Okay, so then the therapist will put a melody to it. So it's like, uh, my name is Jane Doe, my name is... And sorry, I'm tapping as well because that's what MIT, Melodic Intonation Therapy is. They go, my name is Jane Doe, my name is Jane Doe. And the client will echo that and copy it. The therapist will go, my name is Jane Doe. I think they tap on the client's leg. And then slowly, they take out the music. So, my name is Jane Doe. My name is Jane Doe. And then slowly take out the tapping. My name is Jane Doe. And then just simply say, my name is Jane Doe. So those are a number of steps that the neurologic music therapist will do with the client to help them speak a couple of phrases again. I think you can YouTube and figure out and see for yourself um, sessions. In school, we had a patient who had aphasia come and show us a little bit. And it was actually really cool by just using the melody and the tapping and slowly taking out each element. They were able to, they couldn't speak anything really. And then by the end of the training, they were able to say like, can I go to the bathroom or where is the bathroom? Um, just simple things, that daily things that you need to articulate. Um, they learn that through melodic intonation therapy. And then lastly, I'm going to talk about the one technique called musical neglect training for the cognitive training section. For mu musical neglect training is for people who have CVA or a stroke. So let's say their left side of their body is neglected. They can't really see the left side like it's like midline beyond that point they can't see it they can't really move their left hand or their left leg so what a neurologic music therapist would do is get a drum and put the drumstick in their good hand so their right hand so they will have the drum and hit the drum while the therapist is uh, singing a song and then slowly the therapist will move the drum around to the left to the right uh, up uh, closer 
um, to challenge the visual plane for the, the client. And then they will challenge them even more by putting a drum in the midline and one on the side that is neglected. And then the client will try to hit that drum. And this is a great technique because they, the client can get right away the auditory and kinesthetic feedback by hitting the drum. When they, as soon as they hit that drum on the side that it's neglected, they can feel it, right? They can feel the stick hitting the drum and they can hear it. They get auditory and kinesthetic feedback right away. So then this will be good to train them to use and see and just know that there is an, a, another side from that midline because if you injure like uh, the right side of your brain you can't utilize the left side of your body did you know that so if you damage the left side of your brain you can't utilize the right side it's the opposite so it's cool that they just can't even see or anything on the on the opposite side that is damaged okay so that's Cognitive training, musical, the technique, musical neglect training. So some sources say training and others say rehabilitation, like what did I talk about? Sensory motor training, speech and language training, cognitive training. Other sources say speech and language rehabilitation, sensory motor rehabilitation, cognitive rehabilitation. I'm not really too sure. I think either one works, but I'm not a neurologic music therapist. I haven't had that training. And I believe a couple music therapists that I do know do have that training. So maybe I can, maybe they'll comment on this video. Who knows? Anyways, the goal of NMT is to rehabilitate, develop and adapt because this is mostly for the, the cognitive sensory and motor dysfunctions due to neurologic disease. So the brain of the human nervous system and NMT is quite successful in a number of different um, diagnoses and client populations so the top four are neurologic rehabilitation neuropediatric therapy neurogeriatric therapy and neurodevelopmental therapy so anywhere from TBI traumatic brain injury to multiple sclerosis, MS, to uh, muscle dystrophy, cancer, to Alzheimer's, to Huntington's disease, to Parkinson's, to cerebral palsy, autism. It sounds like NMT is for like everyone. <laughs> so maybe I'll get the training. It sounds really cool. Yeah, so we learned a little bit, a little tiny, tiny bit at during um, my master's program, but there's a whole training on NMT. It sounds really cool. So I hope you guys learned a little bit about it. So the big thing are there are three. It, NMT is great for sensory motor, cognitive, and speech and language. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.